So a reference angle is an angle that's made with the terminal side of any angle in the unit circle and the x-axis. So it, it's important that we recognize that it has to be with the x-axis. So Teachers, may I have your attention? Can you please post your attendance? Teachers, can you please post your attendance for today? Thank you. It's important that we see that it's the x-axis. Okay? The terminal side of the angle and the x-axis, meaning if we're doing two. 225 degrees, we go all the way around here to here and we stop, well that creates a triangle and we should be somewhat familiar with the triangle that's located in that little zone there. Um, that's a 45, 45, 90 triangle. So it's this angle that's the terminal side and the x-axis. It's always the x-axis. So if you know enough about your triangles you know that that's a 45 degree angle. If you're not sure, well that's just 180 and that's 225, you can simply subtract those two and you'll find that that's 45 degrees. Same thing when you talk about 300. 300 is a tall triangle in this quadrant down here. Okay, If you know it's a tall triangle, then that meant this is the greater angle that created this longer side. And so it creates a 60 degree triangle in the... Uh, the fact that it's in the fourth quadrant um, is here nor there. What you're doing with a reference angle is you should be able to do everything you, um, you can do with a triangle um, simply by looking at, uh, uh, at the reference angle. So the, again, if this is three, 300 and we know that the x-axis is at 360, you subtract those two and you'll get that 60 degree difference. So we see some of these problems here. Um, 150 degree is a short triangle in the second quadrant. A short triangle has a reference angle to the x-axis of 30 degrees because it's 30 degrees away from the 180 degrees on the bottom. Okay, so again 180 degrees, 150 is right up there. That distance between 150 and 180 is 30 degrees. 210, down in this quadrant down here, same thing. Uh, the reference angle is 30 degrees. You don't have to worry about positives or negatives when you're talking about reference angles. You're simply saying how far away from the x-axis is it. Now, most of these you can just start talking about, oh, that's just this kind of a triangle here. But a problem like this makes you really think about uh, about the angle we're, we're dealing with here. 140 degrees isn't one we're familiar with. I do know that it's up here in this, uh, in, in the second quadrant because it's right near 150 and even closer to 135. But 140 degrees is still going to create an angle with the x-axis. Okay, and that basically means you need to find the difference between those two things there. So a reference angle for 140 degrees is 40 degrees. Reference angle for 250 is all the way around here, so it's going to be beyond 225. In fact, it's beyond 240. 250 is way down over here. It will still create an angle with the x-axis. And that angle right there is the distance from 250 over to 180. And that's an angle of 70 degrees.